Hello, my soccer universe. Um, yeah, you get two videos from me today because there were two competitions happening that I want to keep separated. We have Euro qualifying and there's also uh, the Women's World Cup where I will do a short video. Quick on the background, yes, the jerseys are all national team shirts. I kept the scarves. Uh, I may put some national team scarves out there, but I don't have that big variety. So I don't know if I will make a change or not. It's actually a whole lot of work doing that. Anyway, let's um, go through results of Euro qualifying and see uh, at a few matches. I followed two, two matches uh, live, which is the Czech Republic versus Bulgaria and Austria versus Slovenia. Uh, you know, the home nations <laughs> in a way. Uh, the games went a little bit differently uh, than expected, but let's have a look at the collected results and we'll uh, look at our uh, table standings and all that kind of stuff in the meantime. We'll start off the Czech Republic against Bulgaria, which is the first uh, result, ended 2-1. Uh, game started great for Bulgaria in the third minute. They got the lead through uh, Issa. Uh, very nice uh, header in and I was actually surprised how many Bulgarians were in Prague. Uh, and the other thing is that Prague doesn't have a dedicated um, National Stadium is also always a little bit uh, surprising to me, but you know, the Letna Stadium um, is a nice one, pretty close to the city center as far as I remember. Anyway, uh, Bulgaria actually kept the Czechs at bay. I think there was one big, uh, one dangerous situation around the 10th minute. And then I thought, yeah, they might actually get something out of here. Horrible mistake defending. I mean, the defender slipped, uh, therefore the Czech attacker uh, keeps the ball, he then, the defender then kind of takes it away uh, from him in a last gasp effort, but it lands right at Patrick Schick who makes it 1-1. And then the Czechs had chance after chance after chance after chance. Uh, Schick hitting the uh, top of the bar, Kral having I think two good chances. Uh, and it didn't help that I felt that the um, Bulgarian keeper did not show the calm that you would expect from, from a key keeper. But Bulgaria made it 1-1 into the half. Unfortunately, the second half continued that way and Schick very, very, very quickly with a nice move made it 2-1 and it should have ended 3-4-1 or one for the Czech Republic. Uh, there was really not much coming from Bulgaria, I'm sorry to say, because I was for Bulgaria um, and in the end, yeah, they had a chance to equalize, but it would not have been deserved. The other game in this group, as Group A is Montenegro against Kosovo, ended 1-1 which leaves us with the following situation now. England, despite not having played, leads the group very comfortably ahead of the Czech Republic, who go all the way from last to second spot. Kosovo, Bulgaria, Montenegro sit all at two points. It's gonna be a tight race for second spot. I think England, we know, all, all know will be the first one. Next group, uh, I think this is group B, um, where we have uh, Lithuania, uh, Luxembourg 1-1. Luxembourg actually enjoying a 1-0 lead and then the result of the evening, Ukraine against Serbia. If I wouldn't have had, uh, you know, my home country or my wife's home country to mind, I think this was the game that I was looking forward to. I never expected that result. 5-0. Serbia actually had the better of the uh, beginning of the game. Missing a few chances, but as soon as Zang, uh, Tsigankov makes it 1-0 and then with a wonderful shot 2-0, uh, the game was done and dusted. And then they add three more after the half. Konoplyanka right after the half, Yaremchuk, and then again Konoplyanka. Complete annihilation of Serbia. This was never expected. Those two teams were to be uh, even. Huge boost for Ukraine, uh, gotta be said. Um, they now... They not only got the result in Portugal, like Serbia, but they really put Serbia on the back foot and put themselves into control. Seven points ahead of Luxembourg, four. Portugal, only two. Lithuania, one. And Serbia, also only one point, but they only had two games so far. Um, I still think it's going to be a tight group, but um, absolute demolishing of um, Serbia. Then, next up, we have Georgia against uh, Gibraltar, 3-0, and then another uh, highlight, uh, Denmark against Ireland, 1-1, a little bit lucky for Ireland, because Denmark had many chances, they didn't uh, take the lead through Heuberg, who just came in a few minutes earlier, uh, they probably should have made it 2-0, uh, or should have led 2-0 by the time, then Ireland comes back and equalizes uh, via header by Shane Duffy, ends 1-1. 
which means in that group uh, Ireland is taking the lead with seven points ahead of Switzerland, who's of course at the Nations League. Uh, four Georgia, three Denmark, uh, only two points, so two draws uh, to start the campaign, and Gibraltar uh, is of course with zero. Next up, I don't know now the group numbers, but uh, there was another interesting match. Um, this group with uh, Spain and Sweden, we had mostly clear results for um, the two favorites, Spain winning 4-1 at the Ferry Islands and Sweden at home to Malta. So the interesting match in that group was Norway against Romania, where Norway had a 2-0 lead um, through uh, El Yunusi and Odegaard. But uh, Romania came back, uh, Kejeru uh, uh, twice scored once in stoppage time to make it 2-2 and get a vital point for Romania, uh, who now stay at least in contention. I mean, Spain and Sweden, I think, will run away with this group, to be honest. Uh, nine points, uh, Spain seven for Sweden, Romania four, um, could do something, but we have to see. Norway, they should have gotten the win that they get a chance. So they are currently fifth foot even behind Malta. And then the last group is the group of my home country. Austria beats Slovenia 1-0. It was hard work. Uh, decent first half where they just couldn't get the ball in, followed by a lame second half. And then the coach uh, got Burgstaller on for Savica. And then um, Arnautovic gets the ball in the box around the defender. Uh, pulls it actually net, but Oblak saves. It falls to Burgstaller, who makes a turn, puts it in the net 1-0. Um, Slovenia had then a chance afterwards, but I think it was a deserved win for Austria to kind of salvage their campaign for now, which was necessary because Israel won 3-0 in Latvia and Poland through Piontek, who I thought, I read uh, he has a wedding and that's why he cannot make it to the uh, national team. No, he made it. And he scored a very interesting goal. He made kind of this um, bicycle kick. It was kind of lame, but uh, Glick and Lew Lewandowski didn't touch it and it went in. So. I'm happy for Piontek. He scored two vital winners away from home for Poland. And so Poland leads the group with three out of three wins out of three. Israel seven points behind. North Macedonia, Austria uh, are the ones behind Slovenia with only two points. Yeah, might be hard, hard for them. Austria is playing next North Macedonia, so uh, that will decide, I guess, whether Austria will have a chance. Well. So far for my Euro qualifying roundup. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, give me a thumbs if you, up if you did. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things my soccer universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.